everyone, this is MJ. I'm so excited you've joined me for my countdown to Christmas featuring MJ's Merry Minis. I've designed 25 Christmas ornaments and each one will release from December 1st through to December 25th. And you'll be able to find the pattern for free on my blog on the ornaments release day. Now I'm hosting a crochet along over in my Facebook community group and the link will be in the description box if you want to join in and post your pictures. If you'd rather not wait for all 25 ornaments to release, I've decided to put together a beautifully designed ebook featuring all 25 crochet ornaments. You can purchase the ebook through the link in my description box. Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute boho ornament for your tree. It's really simple to make. I've used some twine for tying this to the tree. I purchased these balls these from the dollar store. So you're getting a two pack. And you're gonna need some worsted weight yarn. I've used brass heather for this one. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you with the mink heather. And you'll also need a four millimeter G crochet hook and this is a furls crochet hook and the links for all these things will be in the description box. So our little tassel on the bottom is of course optional. You don't have to add this, but I'm gonna show you right off the bat how to make it. And then you can easily attach it to the start of your round when we start working up the cover for our ball. Okay, so let's go from the outer part of the ball and we're gonna measure out eight inches. And now we're gonna work up here just 10 strands at eight inches long. So I just go like this back and forth. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We're going to take another strand of yarn and I'm going to go about 14 inches. We're going to tie it into the center. Go once, twice, and knot. And then we'll just knot it again. We'll take another strand at about 14 inches as well. And we're going to make our little tassel ball go around twice. And if you want, we can just wrap the yarn around a few times. And I'll take my yarn needle. that down and we'll do the same thing Now what you can do is just trim so that we don't have any of those loops. And 
Now let's just take our yarn needle And you don't have to add a bead. It would look cute even without the bead. But all of my, most all of my ornaments, I'm adding these beads. Okay. So that's how that looks. So we can just set that aside now. And now we're gonna start the base. So let's make a magic ring. Loosely wrap the yarn around your index finger three times, slide your crochet hook through, and we'll chain three. And then we're gonna work 10 double crochet in the ring. Now let's take the tail, start to pull it. You're gonna see one loop is gonna pull in. I just want you to grab that loop and now take your tail and pull. Okay, so now we have a nice tight circle. We'll slip stitch in the top of the chain three to join. So for round two, we will chain four. And in the first stitch, we'll work a double crochet, chain one, and in the next stitch, we'll work a double crochet, and chain one. So we'll repeat that all the way around. So you're ending with a chain one and we'll slip stitch in the third chain of that chain four to join and we'll chain three. We'll chain four. And then in this chain one space here, we are going to do a double crochet. So that is our first V stitch. In the next chain one space, we'll work a double, chain one, and a double. So we're gonna do a V stitch in every chain one space around. So a double, chain one, and a double. Okay, so for round two, you had 11 DC and 11 chains, and then for round three, you will have 11 V stitches all the way around. Okay, so now we will slip stitch in the third chain of the chain four to join. We'll chain four. And then we're gonna work a double crochet in every stitch and chain one. So double crochet in every stitch and chain one all the way around. Okay, so now we have 22 double crochets and 22 chain one spaces. We'll slip stitch in the third chain of the chain four to join. And we'll chain four. Okay, and then over in this chain one space, we'll work a double crochet, chain one, Double crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, double crochet in the next chain one space, chain one, and repeat that all the way around. Now we'll slip stitch in the third chain of the chain four to join. Chain three. Okay, and now we're gonna work 
a double crochet into every chain one space around. So we're skipping this one here because our this counts as one double. And we're not chaining this time, we're just working double crochets into every chain one space around. Okay, so I've worked all the way around. We have 22 double crochets and we're gonna slip stitch, join and chain three. Okay, so now what we wanna do is attach the tassel now to the bottom. Let's push one strand of yarn up. And another strand through the bottom. Okay, so now we're also gonna have our starting tail. So what I'm gonna do is just take all the tails, knotting them together. Okay, and then I'm just gonna trim not going to bother weaving or anything just trim that off and now we want to take our ball okay and get it wrapped around here so now we need to decrease this round so what we're going to do is we'll skip the first double and do a double crochet into the next it's going to be a little more awkward now working around the ball, but just bear with me. So we'll skip the next stitch, work a double, skip the next stitch, skip the next stitch and work a double. Okay, I'm going to repeat that around off camera. Okay, so I've worked around. I have 11 stitches. I have one stitch remaining. We're just going to skip over that. Slip stitching. Okay, and now I'm going to fasten that off. Now what we'll do is take our yarn needle and I'm going to work around in the front loops only. And then that will just tighten up around the top. And now I'm just going to weave the end. Make sure this is all secure. Okay, and then we can just trim it. So this is how our ornament's looking. It's so cute. And now we just need some string, or some twine, or whatever you like to tie to your tree. I'm kind of going with this rustic um, natural theme, so I'm using twine and beads on all my ornaments. Okay, and then just knot it wherever you are happy with the length. Or you could also use um, ornament hooks as well. It's another good option. So there is the finished ornament. That was so quick to make. 
hardly took any time at all. It just used a small amount of yarn. So you're not even using very much yarn. You could easily buy a bunch of these balls at the dollar store and make up all these pretty little ornaments for your tree. So there are my finished balls. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap that bell so you stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day.